Let's look at delta hedging and how we can use the delta of an option to work out how much of the underlying we should buy or sell to manage our option position. Now imagine for the first step that you have a call option on oil. You have bought the right to buy 100 barrels of oil at $60 a barrel. Now for each barrel of oil on which you have that option, it's going to cost you $5. So imagine you literally put $5 down on each barrel of oil. Now my model tells me this is a 20 delta option, so 0.2. What that means is if the price of oil moves up by $1, my option will move up in value by 20% of that. It'll move up by 20 cents. So you go ahead and do that. Now let's just say the price of oil moves from $60 a barrel to $65 a barrel. That means the underlying position has moved by $5 on 100 barrels of oil. That value of my position is moved by $500. Well, what about my option? My option would have gone up by 20% of that. So the underlying value has risen on the oil by $500. The value of my option has moved up by 20% of that by $100. So what I need to do is I need to buy enough barrels of oil that will generate a similar profit. So if I need to make a profit of $100, I need to buy 20 barrels of oil. So 20 barrels of oil times the $5 move, if you remember it went from $60 to $65, will generate the $100 I need to offset the change in value of the option premium.